<laughs> you put it on the camera. That's a fine. F Hold on. May your children have rich parents. <laughs> you don't remember anything else, you remember me for that. Oh, I'll get it. Here we are. Here we go. I always say this. Well, I don't know whether this will come out or not, but we are in a huge, like, stately pile. All, everyone's come back for a firework display. I don't know whether this is going to come out or not, but this is one huge house. Joe? Yeah? Is that on film? It is at the moment, recording. yeah. Who's that? Steve. Yeah, what do you want to know? I just want, to, want you to point out on, on videotape that these things... Oh, you know, these things that could be very dangerous. That's illegal, isn't it? Well, they could be. I can't see it. You're all too close. My eyes have gone blurred. They're smart, aren't they? What are you doing, fuck? I can't see a thing. No, I'm not sure. These guys here have got handheld shooting rockets. I don't know if this movie is going to come out. Can you see them shooting? I know, dear. Thomas is at the back. I haven't let him shoot one. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, you stay well back. Yeah, no, that's not safe, is it, Dad? No. It's not. This, you wouldn't be allowed to do this in England, would you? A little boy shooting another firework with the firework. <laughs> who's that? Is the, who's that? Steve Day? No, it's probably Eddie or Jack. God, I can't see a damn thing through here. <laughs> Tom, you just stay. You just stay here, right? You're too valuable, mate. <laughs> Oops, sorry, that's a mistake. Bye. Hi, Joe. I'm having a great time. My ears are popped. Oh, Rud Rudolph has appeared. <laughs> Say hello to Rudolph. Oh, it was a killer, a killer. I think that chill water is going to be a good idea. Yeah. Stop it, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> They're all out of focus here. Thanks, mate. Well, of course, Travis here. You're yeah, all Tina. Hi. 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 Have you been in? Yeah, I'm Tina. Are oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> is it good? Yeah, it's good. Have you ever seen anything? Yeah. Lots of things. Yeah. Tina. <laughs> Well, 
We're just about to go through. What's the right? On the right is a zebra, then you've got a nyala. And then you've got another zebra. Yeah. You're working on the way to the left, then you've got a gnu. The wildebeest, and another zebra, and another zebra, and the tree. And some more trees. What's that with the with the zebras under the trees? Maybe, maybe. Over there. That is a nyala. Is that the thing with the horns? That's the one with the horns, yeah. There are more zebras there, Yeah. I'm on the same Yeah, she gets one of my friends. Come look Well, there's a chance to get that. And that's a buffalo, yeah? <laughs> buffalo, Cape buffalo. 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 We only have the two species in Africa, so it's just opposites, black and white. It's got nothing to do with the colour. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Is the female the one on the left? The female is the one on the right, with her baby. Is there a baby there? Yeah. It's a baby. What <laughs> size is it? Which one? The one on the left? Yeah. They're shiny, aren't they? What's it called? Green spotted wood dove. What is it? This is a dove. Uh, bird on the <laughs> <laughs> What are they over there, look? Oh, yeah. Jackals. Yeah. I've got one of those jackals. Have you? You want the options, Craig? Oh, I've the options, Craig. Yeah. Yeah. What are they, then? Over there. They are orange and spotted. They're nice. They look like... That doesn't make a very good picture, like, though, does it? Sammy, you're getting all these, yeah? Yeah, I'm getting the angles, mate. What are these fruits? God, they're big, no, aren't they? They've all legged it off. They're geese. What sort of thing? Callum. Here you go. Yeah. I've done it. 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 I've done the rain bird. Oh, that's a bird, is it? There's some birds out there. Lots of swallows or swifts. I think they are. Well, there's a fish just jumped over there, isn't it? Are they water buffalo, these ones? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Water buffalo? I've got a few animals for that one. Callum. Well, Are those impala things still the other side, Tom? Yep. Yes, Dad. Oh, well, and then I'll just pan round in an expert fashion. Oh, that's, that's better. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. It's really some of those. They usually go around in groups. Yeah. <laughs> and what are these on the right with the striped bums? Impala. They're impala, right? Go on then, Dad. 
Say something then. Just turn around. Yeah. 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 Everything seems to be facing the wrong way. I thought I saw two. I can't see that one now. Maybe it's double, double. Where are we? How come they're coming this way as well? We've just been up there. They're stupid. So which is the baby of those two? They're all babies. In that extent, yeah, please. Tom, you're in the way. Are you recording? Yeah. Is there actually, you say this is control burning, but I mean, are there actually people here controlling it? or? <coughs> so there's people actually down there working then somewhere? Yeah, they'll be on the far side of it. It enables new stuff to grow. Yeah. Get the winter grass out. So you must you must be due for a rainy season. Uh, yes, we're going to grass up. There's a new point with it burning it before. I mean, but you burn before. Before. So that then it's a good grass for grow. Yeah. What's that? Yala. Oh, Yala again. There's several of them. And there's the Impala. Impala. Yeah. One o'clock. One o'clock. Along the road. Oh, yeah. Two o'clock. Still can't see it. Where? Where? Two o'clock. Got it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Ah, oh, brilliant. We have and it's a been followed by some. And a buffalo after it, and they're going to have a fight. It's not a buffalo. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Look at something else from it. Where's it gone? Oh, yeah. Where is it gone? They really are spectacular creatures, aren't they? No, it's right. Try not to knock me out of the way. Yes, they do. Take it anyway. You know what it is. Yeah, because they have to to pump the blood all the way up the neck. They've got one at the base of the head and one in the body. They also have Don't think you'll cross though because there's nothing on the side of No, it's a male. Is it quite a I've missed my Kodak. No, it'll come up. Well, that's very accommodating of him, isn't it? Look at that. It's definitely male.
Left, you're off left. Do you want it? Did you want it? Rhino. Are they Rhinos or Hippos? Rhino. Hippos. What drugs is that boy on? They say Hippos when we get to Lake Solution. Same to Hippos that just swam down the hill. Yeah, right. Uh, something. On a boat trip. Where are we going? There's one over, two over there as well. There's a. That's Buffalo. What time is it, Tom? Oh, it's 20 to 6. Hello, Christopher. Timothy. No, oh, it's Calvin! Spot the lions again. Well, it's six o'clock Friday morning. He's getting squashed at the minute by me. There's what? There's one very low down there. It's just gone onto the floor. There's one. Oh, let me get a picture of that, Dad. Look, 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 look. Excuse me, please. It's going across the road. Too much bleeding now today, you? you don't need to. You know. Oh, you know, I Does it bring it up close? Yeah, quite close, yeah. It's a good size, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> it's a size. I hope this tape picks up the sounds. 
Look at that down there, in the road, just gonna cross the road. Oh yeah, look. What? <coughs> just down across the road. <coughs> I think it's a male in the owner. Yeah. I can't see that. I'm gonna take a picture now, he said. Yeah. now Friday morning and there's uh, our little house traditional Zulu Rundhovel yeah, four of the boys are in that one Very, very nice here. More enjoyment. There's the big cheese house. And this is the sort of open air variety. Tom walking through the African bush with no shoes on. Well, here's our little house. Venda Dumba. Whose house is it really? Under what? Under there, sleeping under. All oh, right. Bloody hell! <coughs> oh no, you could cope with it. I'd rather not get stung. Little bathroom. Nice shower. Lots of bugs. Right, taking a kip. Very pleasant. Uh, here we see there's two rhinos and this wild fish horns. This indicates that there is a game reserve nearby. 
This is a traditional fence, we call it in Zulu Utango. And this is our gate, we call the gate in Zulu Isango. Inside this village, you shall meet the Zulu people, they speak only a Zulu language. So I'd like also to teach you three words in Zulu, those are the most, the most important words. To greet, to say thank you, and to say goodbye. I'll teach you how to greet first. When greeting one Zulu person, we say Saubona. Can you say it all? Saubona, to greet one person. Yes. And for more than one, we say Sanibona. The answer is Yebo. When one says to you Sanibona, we all say Yebo. And when he asks Unjani, which means how are you, he says Siapila, meaning I'm fine. Now I'm going to shout Siakulela. Sanibona. We can get inside. You are also welcome to use your cameras as much. This is ganz stabil. Ganz effektiv. Heutzutage die tragen immer noch. Wenn sie zum König gehen oder zu ein großes Treffen. Immer noch diese Sperren bei. Wir nennen sie traditionelle Waffen. Das große Streik in Südafrika im Moment. Ob sie bei Publik treffen. Nach dem Protest gehen. Protest machen. We see these decorations. We call them in Zulu Amagabel. When a warrior faces his opponent, if an opponent throws a spear, the spear used to go in like this, and then it is difficult for him to come and fetch it, as his opponent again will hold the resolving spear from the left hand side and go on doing like this. <laughs> This is a wedding ceremony shield. <coughs> we call it in Zulu, in <coughs> In the olden days, there were no rings, so this was regarded as a symbol of a ring. When a man and a woman get married, after the wedding day, a man has to take this shield and give it to his wife. Then the wife puts it in her heart like this. Sanibona. Sanibona. These are our young girls. In our culture, young girls expose themselves just to show that they're still young. And over there we see a married woman. Also in our culture, a married woman dresses herself like this, that, like this one. She puts on a traditional head which is made out of grass. Long ago, women used to stitch it on their hair and they were not allowed to take it off. She covers the whole of her body and also, also she puts on a leather skirt which is made from a cow skin. This is to show that she is a married woman. Here they weave different kinds of baskets with ilala palm leaves and the grass. We call this one isikumo. This was used by women to stow traditional beer and to, and to fetch water from the river. To use this basket, they have to soak it in water for a long time so that the palm leaves can absorb water and expand. Thereafter, it is good to contain a liquid. Nothing acquired taste well. Get it on Ray. Look at him. Who? Ray. Uh, oh, Ray. He has his legs. This. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a little hamlet tucked away in there. Yeah, you shut up, I'm busy. Yeah, here, I'll hold that, I'll do the camera.
Sie bleiben da ein paar Jahre mit acht Jahren alter Lende weg und dann gehen sie auf die Straße. Das nächste ist, sie fangen mit Drogen Is that you, Tom? I can tell you're sniffs. Here we see a traditional healer and a fortune teller. We, this is a fortune teller that we call a fortune teller in Zulu, Isangoma. And Isangoma is a person who works through the phones to check everyone's problem. Then this is a traditional healer, we call a traditional healer in Zulu, Inyanga. And Inyanga is a person who works with the head to, to heal six people. <laughs> Called you taking some beer. Oh, that's very kind of you. My son never bothers to offer. Look at that lovely, lovely jubbly. I'm going to try some of that in a minute. Yeah, she's not good. You're have a few more beers, boys. <laughs> Phones on Dean, it just caught that, mate. <laughs> We're surrounded. Along to Tom, take some photographs. Go on. Thank you. 
finish, they must continue with the cultural experience. I can tell you really want to get excited about it. They're two good game drives. Nice cup of coffee. You're not doing commentary. I was hoping. Yeah. I was hoping you guys would say something. Say something, well, Mrs. Said. S. Very nice meal. Nice salads. Are you going on a game drive with John today? No, nope, seems not. Oh. <laughs> I'm wearing Max's hat. Are you really? I am. You back, back at the table again. Back to the thing. Now Friday night, it's half past nine, our last night in Africa, we're firmly tucked up in our beds, it's raining, can you hear that noise? There are frogs everywhere. Including two little rascals right down here look at that pasty it's right by our front door great big fat green thing How do you like that cake? Boys are all in bed. I think so. Roy's packing but he's in flagrante delicto at the moment so I don't turn around. See you in the morning. Well, Saturday morning, Lake St Lucia. Here we are. Just about to get on this hydrodynamic jet jet boat. It's alright, you carry on. Carry on. It is incredibly humid, absolutely like a sauna. There's the gift shop. Where the elephant came from. More people come in on the boat. And that's our little coach with the trailer attached. And I don't think we're going under that bridge. Well, we're on the boat, we're just leaving. And it's very damp and wet.
It's a fish eagle. Some more unusual wildlife. Look at the state of that. There's a wild hibiscus. Flowers start yellow, then turn dark red, and then drop off. Tree 
an der linken Seite, weil sie jetzt hinter uns Affen, kleinen blauen Affen, Wer wird man? It's a long way away, but there's a crocodile. Yeah. Right, this is the end of the trip. We're now getting the coach back to Durban and we're going to fly back uh, to London City like this. We've had a great time. We're all extremely tired. But we're looking forward to getting back <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to say anything, Tom. You're going to be very quiet.